Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be recreating some of my old outfits, but I'll be making them a lot better. Well, that's the plan anyway. But these outfits were from a time where I didn't fully understand proportions and fit, so they're not good. There's a reason why I deleted these outfits off my Instagram page a long time ago, but the outfits will be good once I've restyled them today. A lot of you have been asking for this video, so I hope I do a good job on it, and hopefully it'll help you improve your outfits from learning from my mistakes. So just before I go and get changed into some outfits, I just wanted to mention the importance of having a hairstyle that suits you, because it can make a huge difference to your overall look. Let me show you what I mean. So I've had plenty of hairstyles in the past, and some of them work better for me than others. As you can see, a hairstyle can completely change the way you look, and I think I look like a different person altogether in some of these. Anyway, have a look at me in three all black outfits, and look how much difference a haircut can make. I like my longer hair in the one, but I'd style it differently these days if I had that again. For me, the hairstyle with the short hair, my hair doesn't really bring anything to this outfit, and then the other image on the far right is obviously the one that I currently have. I prefer myself with medium length hair, and I think my current hairstyle suits me best. Obviously, this is subjective like anything in fashion, but it's the one I've received the most compliments about and it's the one I like the best. But there's plenty of guides online that tell you which hairstyles suit certain face shapes, so use those as a guideline to work with. But at the end of the day, it's a case of trying some out for yourself and seeing which one works for you. And if you don't have any hair, then make sure your facial hair complements your face. Again, I've tried growing my beard out, I've been clean shaven, but the one I like the best on me is my current style, a short beard. You don't know these things unless you try them out for yourself. So now that's out the way, I'm gonna show you the pictures of some really bad outfits. Some are worse than others, but let's make them better. So you wouldn't think you could go wrong with a t-shirt and trousers, but obviously you can, as we can see here. My t-shirt's too long and my trousers are too tight and too short. I'm all for a crop trouser and a fitted trouser, but this isn't it. Not only is the t-shirt too long, but it's also slim fitting on me and it just creates this weird bulky midsection. I've actually got a shorter torso and longer legs, but you wouldn't think so from this image. But because the t-shirt's covering most of the top part of my legs, it makes them appear shorter than they are. So let's have a look at what I'd do differently today. So here I am wearing a white tee that has a shorter length and a more relaxed fit. I'm also wearing a pair of dark grey jeans, mainly because I don't currently own any grey trousers that I like, and some Comma Project sneakers. The shorter t-shirt's hitting at my hips rather than going down past my bum, and the trousers aren't stuck to my legs. I have given them a bit of a cuff to give them a slight crop, but nothing like the old photo. And if I wasn't wearing jeans and went for a pair of trousers, then I'd go for something slightly more loose fitting, but not oversized or baggy. I definitely prefer the more tailored look on me. And then to add more interest to the look and to give the outfit some better proportions, I sometimes tuck in my t-shirt. Not only does it make my legs look longer, I just think it looks more flattering on me. And when I'm wearing black trousers, I normally wear a black t-shirt rather than a white tee, as I think it looks smarter. But this look is really clean, it's really simple, and it's one of my go-tos these days. Okay, so let's have a look at the next monstrosity. So here I'm wearing a black jacket, a t-shirt, and a pair of black trousers. So again, this outfit makes me look top heavy, it makes my torso look longer than it is, and my legs look too thin in proportion to the rest of the fit. My hair's also doing nothing for me here, and I'm not a fan of this cut on me. I don't think any of the pieces have got an interesting shape to them, and this is when simplicity is done wrong in my opinion. So let's see what I'd do with this one today. So here I've gone for a more boxy and shorter length black jacket. I've also gone for a white t-shirt underneath for a bit more contrast, and I've tucked it in. Because my t-shirt's tucked and the jacket is shorter in length, you can see more of the top of my leg. And this visually elongates the legs, so no more long torso and stumpy legs. So this pair of trousers still follow the shape of my legs, but they're not too tight like in the old photo. I've also got fairly wide hips, so a tapered trouser works really well for me. They give me more room up top, but then they go slimmer towards the ankle. So if you've got wider hips, this might be something to think about. On feet, I've gone for the Comma Project's Achilles Low, which are a very similar sneaker to the original photo, and that's it. I think the proportions look so much better here, and the fit of the clothing is perfect for my body shape. By the way, anyone can use this technique to make your legs look longer. Whether you've got a shorter torso like me, or a longer torso, or whether you're tall or short, it doesn't matter. For example, Harry Styles seems to have a long torso from what I can see. And before he had a stylist, he used to wear the worst kind of outfits for his frame. His outfits would emphasize his longer torso, and as a result, his legs would look stumpy. But as he's got older, and his stylist is likely to thank here, but he understands what works for his frame a lot more. These days, he often wears high waisted trousers to balance out his frame. Not all the time, but I think they suit his frame best. 
Okay, so on to the next eyesore. So I think this was my attempt at something smart, but you wouldn't know because I look a mess. My shirt's untucked, my trousers are too short, and I don't know what I was thinking with the white sneakers and the white socks here. Again, the longer top and the shorter trouser combo just makes my legs look shorter, and the proportions are off. I'm sure you're starting to notice a bit of a theme here with the tops being too long, but I used to do this a lot. So how would I smarten things up these days? So I've gone for a pair of black smart slim chinos and a pair of loafers with black socks. I've gone for a similar style shirt but I've tucked it in for a smarter finish and I think it looks a lot better like this. Then to finish off the look I've gone for a belt as I don't like wearing anything tucked in when my trousers just have that button in the center. If I'm wearing trousers with a waistband like this then I won't always wear a belt because the waistband looks nice without one but if it's a lone button then I'll wear a belt. Anyway this is a very simple look and I think it looks a lot smarter than the old outfit and when dressing smart I don't really like to do anything too flashy. I like to keep things simple and fitted. So we've definitely got the worst outfit of the bunch here. This is a shocker. There's those trousers again from the first fit. I seem to love those back in the day, but they're doing nothing for me again. This is such a bad fit. I can't believe I took a picture of it, but I'm glad I did for the purpose of this video. The overshirt half done up is a horrible fit. The t-shirt poking out from underneath looks sloppy and the overcoat. I couldn't have picked a worse fitting overcoat if I tried. If you're layering, you want your outer layers to be bigger and more loose fitting than the things underneath. Otherwise, it's going to pull everything in tight, just like it's doing here. These days, I really don't like overcoats that stop above my knee and the fit on this looks like something you'd wear to an office and not a very stylish office. So let's see how I'd wear an overcoat today. So here I am in a much more relaxed fitting overcoat and when I'm in an overcoat it's usually cold so I put on a pair of boots. Now this overcoat's got a lot more room in it, it comes down below my knee and it looks a lot more classy in my opinion. But as the overcoat's quite oversized I didn't want to go for anything too relaxed on my legs so I've gone for a fairly slim fitting pair of jeans. As the last look had a bit of color in it from that green overshirt, I've decided to go for a blue sweatshirt underneath to give the outfit a pop of colour. I love black and blue together and yeah, it just works really well for me. I've given the jumper a slight tuck at the side just to give the outfit more shape and I think this is a big improvement to the old photo. Now I haven't gone for a different jacket underneath this overcoat because it's not comfortable to wear and I don't really do that these days. When I go indoors, I can simply take off the overcoat and I've got an easy to wear outfit underneath. So I've untucked the sweatshirt as I like it better like that when it's worn on its own and it's got quite a crop fit so the proportions of the outfit are still good. But everything is about proportions and fit so have a look at these lads here. They're all different shapes and sizes but they're all wearing the same suit so how's it possible that they all look smart and well dressed in the same suit? Well because each suit is cut to fit each person's body shape and if any of these men were to swap suits with one another then it's not going to fit them and it's the same with any outfit. You need to take your body shape into account when choosing any item of clothing otherwise it's not going to fit you. So my advice to you would be to look back through old pictures of yourself and look for outfits that you don't like yourself in and outfits that you do like yourself in and look for patterns. Maybe in the images that you don't like of yourself you're always wearing crop trousers and in the images that you do like of yourself you're always wearing a fuller length trouser. Maybe your tops are longer in the outfits that you don't like yourself in and shorter in the ones that you do like yourself in. But whatever it might be once you notice that pattern you can stop doing the things that don't work for you going forward. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.